Hi class, sorry to bother you, but um, what is that on the wall? Um, so that, that's a whiteboard of all the rules we have for the dorm. You guys made rules for yourselves? Uh, yeah, we realized we needed them after less than a day of living with each other, so, uh, had that. Yeah, and as time goes on, we add to the list, so it's been growing. Let me see that. Rule number one, no sparring, training, fighting, etc. after dinner. Seems fair enough. See, it's not that bad. Rule number two, Bakugo and Deku are not allowed in a room together unsupervised. Also understandable. See, that was made after they almost blew up the entire building after the first night. I said I was sorry. And also he started it. You little- Rule number three, Neither Bakugo nor Denki are allowed in the kitchen unsupervised. Why? See, as great of a cook as Bakugo is, he overspices things. So unless someone is there watching him cook, he's gonna make things way too spicy for any of us to eat. As for me, um, apparently I get overexcited about food, so every time I touch like the toaster or oven, it kinda, you know... Okay. Rule number four, Bakugo is required to call us by our real names at least three times a week. What? Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, he calls all of us by nicknames. One, to be mean. Two, because he hasn't been bothered enough to learn. Even after a few months of being in the same class. Whatever. I don't understand why there's so many rules about me. Well, maybe if you wouldn't stop causing trouble in the dorms, we wouldn't have to make so many rules about you. <sighs> okay, moving on. Rule number five, if you hear Mitsuki playing in someone's room, leave them alone. Okay, I don't understand this one. Basically, it means they're going through it and they need to be left alone. No questions asked. Rule number six, Sunday brunch is mandatory. What are these rules? Sunday brunch is necessary for team bonding. Come on, Mr. Aizawa. Besides, the rules get better, trust me. Rule number seven, Kirishima must dye his hair only in his bathroom. Yeah, so that was from when I dyed my hair in the kitchen. Apparently I got red dye everywhere. And it looked like a crime scene. Koda was traumatized for days. Um, okay, rule number eight. Uraraka needs to wear gloves every time she sleeps. We found out after night three that she's a sleepwalker. I am not a sleepwalker. Okay, then explain why all the couches were floating. I don't know, maybe you were dreaming? It wasn't a dream if all of us saw it. Okay, moving on. Rule number nine, under no circumstances is anyone allowed to touch Midoriya's All Might merch. If you do, you're on your own, and it was nice knowing you. What? Just don't. All right, moving on to rule number 10. Oh my god, this one is my favorite. If someone picks up a Nerf gun, everyone in the same room must immediately pick one up and participate in a Nerf gun battle. Is that why there's so many Nerf guns lying around? Yep, and you pretty much keep going until there's only one person left standing. It's very intense. You guys should be focusing on your studies. And they're all over the place, they're making a mess. I should confiscate them. New rule, hide all the Nerf guns from Aizawa. Anyway, I think you should keep reading the rules and the next part's my favorite. There's more? And why is it your favorite? Because, Mr. Aizawa, the next section is only about Mineta. Rule number 11. Mineta is banned from the girl side of the dorm. Rule number 12. Mineta must stay at least six feet away from all of the girls. If he doesn't, the girls are allowed to punish him as they see fit. And rule number 13. Cerro is also allowed to use his quirk on Mineta as he sees fit. Rule number 14, Mineta is required to take lessons on consent every Saturday. These are all pretty fair and valid rules. Mr. This is discrimination. I feel oppressed. This- Oh my god, just- <laughs> Rule number 13. Rule number 15, Deku, Todoroki, and Ida are not allowed to sneak out together. They have to sign a permission slip and have at least two people with them. Care to explain? Stain. 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 Rule number 16, Monopoly is banned. 
That's the rule. Monopoly ruins friendships, Mr. Aizawa. Basically, Momo's way too good at it. There's also been times where the board has been broken too many times. The first instance being Bakugo, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Second time, Sato almost beat Momo and got a little too overexcited and forgot he was eating cookies. So. The last time we played, Uraraka and Dark Shadow both broke the board. Uraraka and Dark Shadow? Why? Capitalism needs to die, Mr. Aizawa. For some reason, Dark Shadow is also very anti-capitalist. Okay. Final rule, rule number 17. Always remember that we are a team. Oh, well, that's pretty sweet. That is correct, Mr. Aizawa. We have to remember to work together in times like these. Times like these? What are you- Is that a Nerf gun in your hand? Refer to rule number 10, Mr. Aizawa. If someone picks up a Nerf gun, everyone in the room must pick up a Nerf gun and participate in a Nerf gun battle. Y you're not being serious. You've always told us we need to follow the rules more. Get him. Shit. 